Hi, today we are going back to revisit the red and the blue neighbours. As you'll remember, the red neighbour is fed up because the blue neighbour's tree is encroaching over the boundary line and there are branches probably overhanging the boundary fence. But we've been asked the question, what happens if the tree that the red neighbour wants to uh, chop the branches on is actually protected by a tree preservation order? So as we'll know, a tree preservation order is an order put on a tree by a local planning authority and actually does what it says and protects the tree from uh, being uh, reduced or removed because it's of specific value. So what can the red neighbour do to the tree if it is protected? Well, in law, looking at the Town and Country Planning Act, the encroachment of the branches over the boundary line are classed as a nuisance. So legally speaking, this falls under one of the TPO exemptions and the red neighbour could still go ahead and cut back the branches and again, deliver them or offer them back to the blue neighbour. But the red neighbour is going to be very conscious of the possibility of receiving criminal sanctions from the planning authority for taking this step. So it's quite a tricky point to consider this, whether the um, exemption of a legal nuisance is simply enough for that legal nuisance to be the encroachment of branches over the boundary uh, fence, or whether actually that exemption only applies if it becomes what's classed as an actionable nuisance, i.e. a nuisance requiring a likelihood of damage. It's not clear what the current situation is, so I would advise if in doubt, for the red neighbour to go ahead and make the relevant application to the planning authority. It's better to make the application when it's not needed than not make it when it is.